you guys can hear me. Let me go ahead and back that out real quick. Uh, let me try to scoop this in a tad. Okay, so welcome to a new video, guys. So in this video here, I've been having some trouble with V-Select uh, for the Winbugen screen pack selector. So I kind of came up with, basically this is, if you download the uh, the the best Winbugen, which does this, so I'm gonna open it for you. I've, uh, I was in a room a few days ago in Parsec with a gentleman who actually was using this screen. The reason I'm using the phone is uh, because I was having a problem with the volume, the in-game volume as I lowered it. It didn't save it. So it, like I, I, I didn't figure out how to lower the volume. So I just thought I'd do it this way because I can just mute the game. So, but you should be able to hear me over the game. It's kind of loud, but I'm only gonna have it up for a couple seconds. So this is the, the best when Mugen. So it looks like this. And then when you load it, it looks like this. So the, the reason I'm bringing it up is so, let's go to training mode, right? And this is the uh, the screen pack that, I, that you can get. So I'll pick it up with the phone, as you can see all the slots. And when you select single, the characters are gonna show up down there, which is really cool. So for me, and it also comes with tag mode and stuff. So all the stuff I've been working my, like working really hard to find ways to get, it brings it in. So, and they have these nice uh, stages. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can load one. You can see how wide the stage is. Really good for the Marvel characters. Ah, fucked up my buttons again. I'll fix it. Uh, anyway. Super anime. Anyway. The whole point of this video is normally you would use uh, V-Select. I'm going to put the phone over here just for a second. So you come into V-Select normally, right? So let's say, Try reloading for a second. Anyway, whatever, because I can't seem to get that screen back up. Anyway, this is the workaround. So, what I figured out is, um, when you go in, let's see, because I'm trying to, let me, let me, uh, let me exit this and bring, uh, V select back out with a different V select. Uh, let me see if that'll work. So I can show you the way this workaround is supposed to be done just in case you get stuck like I was. As you guys know me, I like to make pretty thorough videos so you guys can understand everything. All right, so yeah, this right here, this is what I'm looking for, okay. So you notice, all you see are these characters here, and you don't see the giant pink and you know green looking thing you just saw with like, the millions of character portraits that I, that I could stall. And then it gets confusing because you're like, okay, so how can I add you know, more and more characters to the game? Because I can't, there's no extra slots for me to do. So basic V-Select doesn't work this way. So an idea I had is what you got to do is you got to go to open motif. Now, this is the motifs it gives you. And this is the one here that we're using. 
Now, I'm not going to click on it because when you do, it, it causes vSelect to crash, which basically means it doesn't work. So I'm not going to waste time and do that. So what I did instead was you have these options here, which are the Mugen one or the big option. Now, big is normally the one where you can extend character slots. So I went with this option. And as you can see here, the characters are up there and including character slots that I've added recently. So what you want to do next is go to show empty cells. And now this is going to load all the other slots that you can fill. The reason why this is important is because um, I guess I didn't save it, so I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. So I'm going to go next to Scarlet here, and I'm going to insert a character. Now, don't, don't worry. When you load the game, you're not going to get the classic Mugen to show up. But I'll show you how the workaround works, because no one had an answer for this. They were saying that V-Select, unless there's an option that it works with the classic one Mugen or this the whole setup... There's not really a way to do it. People couldn't figure it out. So me, I like to take time to figure shit out. And this is the option I came up with. So I'm going to go into characters here. And let's just grab uh, Kaneki, right? And he's going to show up right here next to Scarlet. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go to save. And we're going to leave. And we're going to reopen the... Uh, oops, let me get rid of that. We're going to reopen the game. Now it's going to take a second to load. Now the game's slot system is quite large, so this is not going to work for the entire roster that you build, uh, depending if you have a large roster like myself. There are different uh, screen packs that come uh, with it. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, now, let's go ahead and see if Kaneki launched into the game. You see he's right there. Right next to Scarlet. And we're going to go to single and see if he pops up down here. And there he is. Along with Scarlet, I added Eagle, Savaria, Kusurgato. So, so basically, that's all you got to do. The only thing I'm still trying to figure out is how to change the menu music. Because I want, like, my own themes. But other than that, basically, the workaround is you just go to this open motif and system and choose big. And then from there, let me see if I still have it open. You're going to go... Let's go to best Mugen. And then you're gonna go in data from, from where your Mugen folder is. And as you go into big system, I'll show you where I did all this. Right there. Care to select definition. I just made 20 rows, 40 columns, and I moved the POS around because it moves the boxes like further over this way or up so you could get more slots to mess with. So basically, as you do this, you'll add more characters to the game. That way you don't have to go into file, copy it, and then paste it with the whole select style because that takes forever. So so this is my little workaround to do it. And I, uh, I'm happy that I found this because I was not going to sit here all day trying to load characters one by one, as I said, with the select system. So this way... You just use the classic Mugen setup style with all these slots and you just fill them in. And then, of course, you go over here as well and you load your stages too and whatnot. So, but yeah, I hope that helps. That's my little workaround to get more characters in. Um, matter of fact, while we're here, I'm going to put a character under Wang just so we can test that. So let's grab, uh, where's that wing? So let's put, uh, where's Tia? 
No, let, let's put uh, Red Snake under him. She's another Marshall Masters character. So she's going to show up right there. Now we go save. And now let's go. And by the way, these are the other screen packs you can get. And they look like that because that depends on the character sizes you want. Now you can't. The way you launch it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can show you. Um, I'm going to launch mine first. See down here? Two screen pack. That's where I got the big and big and the Mugen 1 option idea from. When I saw that, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can open those up to select this. So we're just going to make sure Red Snake loaded into the game, just like Kaneki did. And then I'm going to show you the alternate screen pack options just in case you don't want to have that many characters when you get it. But that's actually all on the website. I'm just being thorough just to help. All right. <clears throat> so this is how I'm going to add more characters to my new setup, which I finally have tag mode. Makes me happy. So we're going to go training. And you see, she didn't show up under Wang. But she showed up over there. Now that's the only downside. Let's say I want to make a Marvel versus Capcom row. They may not exactly show up where they need to. But as long as they show up in the game, I think more or less that's how it's going to work. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to fill. Because you notice how I put Kaneki next to Scarlet and it did work that way. So I'm just going to fill them by row. And because uh, maybe what, what did I have? I had... 20 row 20 20 rows and i think 40 20 columns 40 rows something like that so i think it's basically counting 20 across and wherever she's at may make 40 so instead of appearing under him she's appearing on wherever the 40 or 50 is if that makes any sense but yeah as you guys see that's how that works so yeah basically in here i'm gonna see if i can load one grab this Okay, so I'm, I clicked on the first one. Now, this is showing you what the original screen pack would look like if you didn't want to have as many characters as I'm going to have. Because it's just in the in the, the idea of more characters in the future is always just fun for me to just create all kinds of matchups like, you know, Melty, Melty Blood versus Guilty Gear versus Blaze Blue versus Mortal Kombat. I like to have a large roster. It's just more fun. So, But a lot of people like to have small rosters. They like to have a specific character selection. Now, as you go into this, it's going to work the same way, but the roster is a lot tinier. So, I see, yeah. So, if you wanted to have a smaller roster, you could do this. And these actually have the character portraits. The other one, well, the bigger portraits, the other ones don't have that. So, of course, you back out, and they're going to be in here. And the one I use is option five, the big one. Because I think it shows you. I see if you click it, shows you different options there. I may actually go with this one. I don't know if I'm going to wind up using that many. Can always extend it for later, I guess. I guess it depends on this. Because I guess you launch the characters and whatever screen pack you load is the version of the game you're going to play with the characters in it. But anyway, um, that's my video with my uh, workaround for V-Select. I very much hope it helps. I just, I, really, I just figured this out like a few minutes ago. And I wanted to make a video since I couldn't find any help online. So I hope I was able to help you guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.